copy of that, paste it. It shows some of that brown stuff. That makes sense. I love that I can undo. That is very handy. It's just like too high maybe on it after all. So still can't move that sucker. Very odd. Anyway. That's where I like it. Like so. Cool. Save this robot base plate. And there's this plate. T turret plate. Copy paste. Mm -hmm. Oops. Whoa. Where did that guy go? Huh. It's kind of weird. So we're having some click and drag issues in the editor in the robot editor. It's like it works half the time. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now, do another one. Uh oh. That was strange. Aha! <laughs> it couldn't do turret plate bottom because it didn't have enough. So we're have we have a limitation on names because we're we're actually using the names of objects as their identifiers. In like internally, so they can only be 16 characters in the name. Uh, so we're gonna just call this T plate bottom. Call this T plate top. This is a little ghetto. Maybe Mira could make. Make it 32 characters instead. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a big performance hit. I mean, memory, I don't think we were running out of memory. It's more of a performance issue. Because if you're quickly comparing strings, it helps if they're a lot shorter. I don't know if they are even strings. He can hear me while I'm mumbling about this, so maybe he'll do something or not. He has more important things to work on now anyway. Getting the gameplay stuff in there. Okay, I think we have a comp Nope, we're missing one piece, which is gonna happen right now. It's this one, this doohickey. Side plate. Side, I'm just going to call it. Sweet. Cool. How 
How's that? It's pretty nice. That looks cool. I'm well happy with that. Nice. Okay, so our tank now looks exactly like it did before, except it has a lot more pieces to it. And I have no idea how this is going to work. If it's even going to function, because we have we have different... So I saved the robot. I'm going to just pop it in here. Oh, I think I crashed again. <laughs> Ooh. That's a bummer. I don't know if I can debug this. This is a release build, so I kind of doubt it'll it'll work. I don't know the joint. I didn't even set up the joints whatsoever, so I'm pretty sure that's why things crashed rather horribly. And this is not helpful at all. Yeah, not not. Okay, I'm gonna run the debug build just so that uh, it's gonna take a while to build that, isn't it? You know what? Screw that. I'm gonna do the release build, and I'll be stupid about the. Okay, so we don't have any joints whatsoever. Or we probably have joints that are outdated. Yeah. Man, we have a lot of a lot of work to do here. Gear, gear, break, break. No idea how this stuff works. Gun. Oh, that's probably why, because these are all referring to things that don't exist anymore. Objects. So this base core, that's what everything should be referring to. So you see the this is how we're referring to things. Like I was mentioning but way that moved things. Oh, and that's probably why I couldn't move the cannon before. It's because it was jointed up to things. Base core, cool. Well, we're just gonna do Leg, leg, base core, wheel. These should be fine. But yeah. So that made a mess out of things. That's fine. Just gonna have to. Since this whole base core guy moved down, I'm gonna have to adjust the joints upward which is cool I can do that and no idea how much I'm moving them upward but there's that bottom line okay so we can the wheel needs to rest on that bottom line I think and they stick out about that much okay so that's a little too much. It's pretty good. And then this is the cannon. It's moved up. So Miro says you can add joints to your tank in robot editor window. Selecting edit joints and pressing insert key with mouse cursor on overlapped objects. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's pretty advanced. Or that's nice, like UI stuff. Uh, let me save it. Okay, so <laughs> I want to see if it crashes. No. Nope. <laughs> but since I didn't have any joints between the new pieces I've added, they're just, they just fall off. There's no. I can't. Oh, he wants to go in the other tank. Okay. Move by. Ugh. Get out of there. See if I can pilot these things. No, probably not. Not sure why the script shouldn't have changed. Yeah, it said his vehicle is on.
Mirror, any idea why I can't jump into these guys? Pilot doesn't recognize them as a vehicle. He's writing a he's writing in Skype right now, so we'll have an answer. So these joints are acting a little differently too. They're squishy. They're like all bouncing up and down. Not sure what caused that to happen. Maybe they're of different material. Whoa, different materials. <laughs> I broke it. Anyway, I want to. While he's writing. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, he says the tank is broken. Robot script checks for head object area is small okay so it's the uh i get it so there's stuff in here that is looking for head yep that's it oops it's gonna be <laughs> what do we call it again base core so yeah we just need to update the script real quick Mm -hmm. Is that the only place? There's this as well. That looks like it is. Yeah, that's good enough. Script and update. Let's see if there's anything refer. Yeah. It's referring to that there. Okay, say robot. Nice. So it was checking if the the vehicle was. Yeah. See if it couldn't find that vehicle is broken or not. If it couldn't find that, it'll it'll be set to dead. So the vehicle is is effectively dead. And he couldn't find anything called head. So that was causing our problems. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I love how that, those pieces just fall off. But now this vehicle should be good to go. And it's not jiggling around as much anymore, I think, because the springs are different. Oh, maybe they don't seem to be able to jump in here anymore. Or still. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Did I miss one? Small. Uh -huh, okay. So it's actually even checking for its size, get area, and this area might now be too small. So, okay, that makes sense. So the code is actually checking for the area of the piece. So if it's in half, you know, if it's broken in half, then it's smaller than. Three, I'm guessing three square square meters. So we can edit this mo and see measured values. It's going to be do, 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 object area. Yep. So it's even less than one square meter. Well, it used to be much bigger. So we need to check if it's less than 0.8. That's the that's the thing. 0.8. So let's just do 0.8. Or yeah, 0.5, that's fine. So now, save the sucker. Reset, insert. Okay, now it's alive. Got a live, live vehicle. Woo! It looks a little funky without the. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Darkness, <laughs> scary. Oh, it's so cool. All right, I need to turn the lights on or off, rather. So the lighting, 
So that thing scrapes along the ground. It's unfortunate. <laughs> and the whole thing is super light because it's much smaller area now, which means the mass has changed. Which is pretty fun. Um, so yeah, it, the handles completely differently just due to the physics being very different. But yeah, it's like Rayman. <laughs> if you guys have seen that game, it's a very similar look to this since it's all disjointed. And it doesn't collide with its own pieces here because they, they are its own pieces and that's why, but if I jumped, uh, yeah, so they're still like absorb these and anything else other than the vehicle itself will collide with it so that's pretty cool it's a good good progress here now we're gonna go get this kitted out a little more let's see edit this mo or which one is it the turret core turret holder and these are all they should be the right material yeah they're metal that's good but what thickness so this is a problem because they're all like super thin and that was a problem with the old the old tank as well it was way too light for what it actually is. So we're going to start with the base core. Just edit. Set the thickness to something more reasonable. It's going to make it a heck of a lot heavier. But the hollowness can be pretty high too because it's not just all metal all the way through. Yeah, it's, let's call it 75 maybe? I don't know. Um, that's like half its width in depth, I would say. That's already a, a whole ton, metric ton. It's interesting. Save that. I'm hoping that actually stuck. Yep, that's good. Very good. Now I can go back, get the gun. And that is, oh, there's like circle shape calibration now. This is new. These controls are new. That's pretty neat. So if I go to wheel here, I can shift. I don't know what that did. Undo that. I love how it tells me what I undid. Okay, scale. Where? Oh, I see. Yeah, you can just fine tune where he actually does the circle shape. So circle shape is just to make things perfectly round that are supposed to be perfectly round. Even though the artist didn't paint this perfectly round, we can have the object be perfect circle. Or at least the polygon creates the perfect approximation of a perfect circle. So let's see. I really hope I'm not too mumbly. I'm just gonna be mumbling to myself this whole time. Probably making everyone sleepy. Who happens to listen to this? So okay anyway, let's get back focus here. Gun. Edit this MO. It is also thicker than just Okay, but it's not very thick because this is just a very crude approximation, but I think er, something like that. Hollowness really high on the gun because it is pretty hollow. It's good. Go back to object. Turret core. It's very handy how you can click that. That's Thickness is just about one, I would say. Looks like a big chunky thing, so hollowness can be pretty high though. It is just like a hollow thing. Um, 
thread holder, I would say thickness is pretty low on this. The hollowness is eh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Since it's very thin, and it's pretty heavy, so I should probably make the hollowness higher. Let's crank it up to 0.8 or something. Yeah, the thickness is very low. Oh dear, I'm just yawning now. Okay. Leg one. A little bit of thickness. Very little though. Point one and maybe I don't know. Somewhere there. That's point fourteen and point seventy one. So I'm going to try to get it. Seventy one. Get them the same. So it's not going to be off balance. This plate is super thin. Yeah, I would say even like that hollowness. And not really, but something like that. It's a plate of armor, after all. Here too, this is super thin. See, like that, maybe. Yeah. Point zero five. I save while I'm at it. I'd love to be able to type these in, but it's not a big deal. Plate side. This is mega thin. Maybe like that. Point zero three. Wheel. These are fairly thick. Ish, like so maybe? And very hollow. You've seen those Mars rover wheels? That's kind of what these are, I reckon. This will make a huge difference, just going from 0.98 to 0.99, it's like doubling the weight and it changes the mo moment inertia a lot. So that's 0.52, let's make it 0.5. Because when we rotate these wheels, how heavy they are will affect a lot how they handle. I had this at 98, right? Well, this is hard. We should absolutely try to add some numerical entry there. Cool. Just text box or something. So we have set up every component. Now I'm going to reread what Mira wrote about setting up joints. Edit joints. Okay. And okay. Edit joints. Press the insert key with mouse cursor on overlapped objects. What? Okay. Overlapped objects. Well, these are there's like three layers of overlapped objects. I don't know what's going to happen when I hit insert. Well, first of all, let's save the robot and go. Okay. Oh shit. So 
it added joints between I have no idea what it did turret holder turret holder 1 I think we need two of those huh. it seemed like it added joints between T plate side So really, I just need to think about, okay, so let's just keep it simple. Let's do one thing at a time. T-plate bottom. Okay, there, it added joints for everything that was overlapping, which is very cool, actually. Um, let's just do it with this plate first. So we have, we have the, maybe I can just do this. Boom. Yeah. Base core. It has base plate and base core now are these two base plate base core it's awesome that it makes one automatically should definitely be a button in the uh, UI for that um, or I don't know how you would do that insert the insert button is good maybe maybe a little text little tooltip here it says insert something because I would never have found that out on my own uh, the base core base plate base okay so I think these should be reversed yes. I don't know if that makes any difference but now when I save and I pop it in here <laughs> <laughs> so we made a joint but it's a just a pin. So it's just a dingle dangle. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so how do we make that not not do that? Funny as that is. Edit this joint. Join parameters. Oh, gear ratio. Holy shit. Motor enabled. This is angular friction. Holy crap. How do I set that to something smart? Angular friction 10. Okay, angular friction 0. What are the other values that are changing? And spring power. Okay, I think angular spring power is what I need to have 10. Save that robot. Oh yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Now that joint is holding it upright at least. It's not just dangling, but there's a spring. That's awesome. And it just goes dingle dangle. But it has the spring that it's like a metronome. Okay. Let's change the. I should call this the plate instead. And I think it needs to have this as well. Cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, did it the trick because now there's friction I might want to increase that even more but because it, I do see it shifting as I'm accelerating and stuff I gotta love that motion blur adds a lot to the effect Cool. Well, we got one plate down. Let's see, edit this joint. I'd like the friction to be a little higher. Nice. And this should be like low. 
because that means that plate can come off. <laughs> Wait a moment. Oh, it already came off. That's funny. It came off immediately. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know, why is it colliding with everything? That's strange. All of a sudden, it seems like it's colliding with its own pieces. I don't know why that started happening. Did I hit something? That does that? Uh... I think there's a checkbox for that. Or maybe it starts happening as soon as something falls off. Because... Mira says, you don't need to save robot before adding it to scene with insert key. The instance from the editor is cloned to scene. Now, I uh, actually knew that, but I still like to save it because if, I guess if the program crashes, I, I wouldn't want to, yeah, saving often is good, he says, which I agree with. I'm just paranoid about if there's a crash, then I don't want to lose any work. But can you explain, Mira, why... This is happening now. Um, the 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 objects it's colliding with itself all of a sudden. I don't know why that's happening. Before it, they all just fell to the ground, but now it seems like they're colliding with itself. I forget there. I think there was a checkbox somewhere on also I don't know why certain things are showing the the polygons I noticed that it was doing that and I I don't know what I did now it's not doing that but yeah like everything's just popping apart oh there we go and it's doing that now with the very odd <laughs> very odd situation going on <laughs> He's like very uncomfortable. Pop. <laughs> so I'm thinking this has to do with th that I am base plate joint. It is this joint, this guy. So if I set this to a thousand again and I insert. Okay. So yeah, now they behave like they did before. So there's something about... Okay, so Mira says, joints are broken and I need to add a feature that when a joint is broken and two objects don't collide until they get apart. Yes, that would be awesome. It's one of those things that is easy to not think about or overlook. It's a little tricky, you know, when a part comes off a vehicle, should it start colliding immediately or should it start only colliding as it cl has cleared the vehicle that I think is where it, the solution would be for this yeah <laughs> so these guys are vibrating now because angular friction is it because of the angular friction being that high press motor pedal <laughs> that's great so you can test it Okay, now it's not doing the jittery thing anymore. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I turned it, turned down the friction. He says that the, the friction, angular friction of 100 is a lot. And, oh shit, blew that thing up. Well, I, 
think I think my guy died. Something weird happened. Boop 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 boop. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. So I definitely want things to <sighs> like the gun. I don't like that it doesn't that it doesn't come apart. So I like the way the core and the plate base plate. This ammo. I want this to be breaking. Really? Because I broke the shit out of that thing. Even with this high. Weird. So I'm, f I'm a feeling. I have a feeling this is like set to. And allow break core. Yes. Plastic deform. Nice. Base plate. Huh. So strange that this is so high and it still broke apart. Like nobody's business. We're a little closer. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that's much better. Still love the way you can just saw things in half. <laughs> there it goes. Saw this leg off. It's probably gonna freak out. Hoi. Nice. I'm not sure how this is balancing right now. I get under this guy. I guess I could see how it balances. Oh shit. So we have those joints. I need to add some more joints to it's gonna be between mm, it's gonna be between the okay, this is the base plate joint. I should just copy this. Pop it down. It's going to be between the core, the turret core, it's going to be the top. Oh shit, we screwed up. Turret core and the T plate top. Oh, snap. Uh, okay, and it's because it's jointed. Joints, T top plate. That's cool, but that turret core is in the wrong position now because I had it jointed to the wrong thing. That's more like it. Nice. Oh, this freaking joint. Um. Plate top. 
put it there. I don't know. That works, I guess. We still need to make another joint between. It's going to be between the. There's the holder and that. Uh, it's, uh, I'm fading. It's seven in the morning here, so I should probably go to sleep. But yeah, I need to hook up all these things. So this is attached to that, and that's what's holding this. And that's holding these two and the turret, and also this guy. So I'm going to sleep and do that after I have rested a little bit, because it's a lot of joints to get get this guy going but it's a start the top is attached to that see ah, it's so cool so mirror before I go to sleep why I'm curious why is it doing these green things only on certain items it's a mystery It's a mystery to me. Is it, it's not because I haven't selected. It's really odd. I'm typing the Miro. to co show core and hull. Huh. I don't know what that means. No, oh, it's just a bug. I, I'm assuming it's just a glitch or a bug or something with showing, visually showing what is the core and the hull. So with that, I will take a break, but we have a new tank coming together pretty nicely here. So thanks a lot for checking it out and watching for all of 43 minutes. I will pick this up again soon. This is Planetoid Pioneers. I am Dan Tabar of Data Realm signing out. Until next time.